This lesson is on improper integrals. What is an improper integral? Well, we have several different types. The first type is when we go from some constant a to infinity, and we try to find an answer for that a to infinity. The second type is when we go from negative infinity to some constant we can call b. The third type is when we go from negative infinity to infinity. Or we have other types where we go from a to b, one being where it's discontinuous at the endpoint a or the endpoint b, or the other type is where it's discontinuous somewhere between a and b. So let's look at several different types here. Type a, or the infinity type. When we go from a to infinity, or negative infinity to b, or negative infinity to infinity. Our example, determine the integral from negative 1 to infinity of dx over x to the fourth. Well, the way we do these is to write the limit as b approaches infinity and replace our infinity with a b, because that is the proper way to write improper integrals. And we have our dx over x to the fourth. Doing the antiderivative of dx over x to the fourth, we get negative one-third x cubed in the denominator. And we're going from negative 1 to b, and we have our limit as b approaches infinity. Well, that becomes the limit as b approaches infinity of negative one-third times 1 over b cubed minus 1 over negative 1. And that equals, well, when b approaches infinity, 1 over b squared means nothing. The 1 over negative 1 becomes positive 1. So we have negative 1 third times positive 1, which is negative 1 third. Very simple procedure. Just make sure when you're doing these on a quiz or a test or some examination, you have to show your work. You put that b approaching infinity limit in there. Let's go to another example. This one says, determine the integral from negative infinity to infinity of dx over 1 plus x squared. We have to break this one up. So a convenient place would be at 0. So let's do the limit as b approaches negative infinity of the integral of b to 0 of dx over 1 plus x squared. Add to that the limit. We can use another variable, but b will still work for this one b approaches positive infinity from 0 to b of dx over 1 plus x squared. Take the antiderivative of dx over 1 plus x squared, and that's the arctangent of x. And remember, we have the limit as b approaches negative infinity. So this one goes from b to 0, plus limit as b approaches infinity of the arctangent of x from 0 to b. So when we put the 0 in on the first one, we get the arctangent of 0, which is 0, minus the arctangent of b as b approaches negative infinity. Well, if you think of your graph of your arctangent, it looks like this. So that would be negative pi over 2. We would add to that the limit as b approaches infinity of arctangent of b which is, in this case, going to positive infinity, which means it's positive pi over 2, plus the arctangent of 0, which is 0. Add these two together, we'll have plus pi over 2 plus pi over 2 is equal to pi. So the answer on this one is pi. A little different from what you might think as you just look at it and think of integrals in one adding out negatives and positives and becoming a 0. This actually adds up to pi. Let's go on. This type of integral is called type b, or interval ab. This is where you have a discontinuity at a or b, or somewhere in between. Let's look at an example of this. Integral of negative 2 to 0 of dx over the square root of x plus 2. This is where we have a discontinuity at the endpoint x equals negative 2. So we change this to read limit as b approaches negative 2 of the integral b to 0 dx over square root of x plus 2. 
The antiderivative of this is square root of x plus 2 times 2. And we do limit as b approaches negative 2 from b to 0. Substituting in the numbers, we put in the 0 first and we get 2 square roots of 2 minus, and when we put b in and it is negative 2, we actually get a 0 for the square root. So it's minus 0, so that answer becomes 2 square roots of 2. We knew we were going to get an answer for this because we have a square root in the denominator and when we take the antiderivative of a square root in the denominator, it becomes a square root in the numerator. So think through those possibilities as you do this type of integration. Let's try another type b. This one says the integral from negative 2 to 2 of 1 over x to the 2 thirds power. This has a discontinuity when x is equal to 0, so we have to break it up. So we say the limit as b approaches 0 of negative 2 to b of 1 over x to the 2 thirds dx plus the limit as b approaches 0 of b to 2 of 1 over x to the 2 thirds dx. Evaluating the first one, we get x add 1 to the 2 thirds, so we get x to the 1 third times 3 from negative 2 to b, where b is approaching 0. Add to that limit as b approaches 0 of 3x to the 1 third from b to 2. Again, if we substitute in the b at 0, we get 0 minus 3 times negative 2 to the 1 third power. Add to that, limit as b approaches 0, so if we substitute first the 2 in, we get 3 times 2 to the 1 third power minus a 0. The negative 3 times negative 2 gives us a positive. Remember, we can factor out this negative on this particular problem because of the fact that negative 2 to the 1 third power can be found. So we will have 3 times 2 to the 1 third power plus 3 times 2 to the 1 third power. So 3 and 3 is 6 times 2 to the 1 third power. This concludes your lesson on improper integrals.